Well, Lincoln tells Congress, listen, your friends in the civilian you know, realm that have paid you money that want things done, listen, save the government first, then we can worry about you, uh, the favors that we owe you. Yeah, hello and welcome to Civil War in Hindsight. I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me as always is Prospector Johnny. And Johnny, uh, this week, uh, relatively quiet. Should be pretty quick getting through this. Uh, but some news. Some well, news. Uh, glad it's quiet there. Yeah, it's, uh, I want to apologize to everybody or maybe say you're welcome if you enjoy the, the, the uh, dulcet sounds of rain. Uh, I have plenty of it here. so uh, It's been a very wet spring week. so far. Uh, for the war, very noisy war here. So, yeah. All right, let's get so, into it. what happened. What do we got? Uh, on the thirteenth, Union gunboats uh, we on get the this over with. yeah, Union gunboats in the Yalabusha continue to uh, pointlessly bombard Fort Pemberton, uh, a fort made out of cotton bales, makeshift <laughs> thing down there in the swamp. Are they just bayou. messing with? Yeah, they're, they're, they they we sent a whole. Oh, this like, is part. This is trying to get to Vicksburg. Vicksburg, yeah, and we just like we spent a whole day shelling it, and then at the end of the day, like. Yeah. Our, our, all, all of our artillery couldn't get through a couple of cotton bales. So, let that sink in for a minute. Well, cotton bales is it's a swamp. Like a it's swamp a swamp, yeah. Like it, I imagine the rounds are going in and just going thud. <laughs> just like, even if they explode, yeah, it's like I, thud. I, I, yeah, nothing. Bloop. Yeah, it's a bloop. <laughs> Not much going on. <laughs> it's a bayou. <laughs> Uh, it seems that uh, uh, not only northern arsenals, Johnny, are having uh, accidental explosions. We have a southern arsenal with an accidental explosion. The Confederate Ordnance Laboratory oh, in Richmond, perfect. Virginia. It's going to blow up today, killing 69, uh, 62, of, or killing slash wounding. Oh, Sorry, nice. I made it worse. Oh. Killing slash wounding 69, 62 of which uh, are women. Nice. <coughs> so. Oh, yikes. What happened? What uh, uh, were they accidental they accidental rocket ran off rocket? you know oopsies happens whoops yeah kind of like oops. we had the same thing uh, remember when we put those flares out in a hot metal pan and we're like that's a good idea it wasn't a good idea well, just dried yeah. them out yeah try it dried it them wasn't off. a good idea same, yeah, same. how many people did we kill in that was it six, about the same six, yeah some was 20s two? 60s somewhere it's, i don't remember it's uh, it's uh under 100 shoot. so i don't know if, why am i reporting on it it's not even news under 100 people who cares Oh, that they're women. So I, I think if women are dying, that's, I get that's to like I get to take the hundred thing away right. from it because it's it's women, it's that's women fair. and cho it's women yeah. and children. Like let's be let's be clear, it, the, by women. So that's where that's by, where your humanity. By is. women, yeah. I mean like girls that are twelve. Yeah. They do not women. Okay, these aren't right. these aren't women. Oh, basically, <laughs> I mean they're pretty close to breeding age. Are they not? Uh, fine, fine, Johnny. They will uh, be married soon, move, I imagine. Sure, they moving were probably on. Probably there shopping uh, for wedding dresses. Probably, maybe. Uh, on the fourteenth, Admiral Farragut, <laughs> he's going to attempt to lead his flotilla so. past Fort Hudson, Johnny, um, uh, on his way up towards Vicksburg, uh, and it doesn't it doesn't go so well. He does. No, so I, his flagship, uh, the Hartford, and the USS Albatross, they are able to make it up the Mississippi past past the fort. The 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 batteries there, the land batteries, are able to damage uh, the Monagala and the Richmond, uh, which I find it hilarious that that we have a USS Richmond. That, that's funny. That makes me giggle a little bit. Oh, yeah. And maybe it's to make them feel and bad. And then they, they shot it down, it, so they should feel bad because they shot the Richmond. And so they probably feel uh, bad. And they are it, going yeah. to destroy the USS Mississippi, uh, which is hilarious because the USS Mississippi is going to get destroyed on the Mississippi. <laughs> well, the, what a better place know, for it to go down. But by the if you're going to die if, by the story, go down, probably. you go down after you were on your namesake, right? It's going to make it easy for kids uh, studying history in the future to remember where the Mississippi to is at. today. Yep. <laughs> Imagine they left it. Sunk at, right? Oh, yeah. It's sunk, it's sunk, it, it, well, it's a, it, 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 it grounded itself on the, the bank, and then, and then it, ex, it, then it oh, went, okay. then it went, boom! 
boom. So parts of it oh. are in the Mississippi, okay. definitely, so, and then parts of it are over so, there, uh, and then parts of it are over there. Yeah, yeah, there's so maybe a leg there, up over yeah. there. Oh, the roof. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, definitely the boiler went booey, booey, boom, boom. Just apparently when you're using steam Shoot. engines, uh, it's, it's a great technology, but it, it does get, there is that risk. There's a lot of pressure. And uh, yeah. pressure guy goes somewhere. If it's not yeah. going into turning an engine, it may just go into making the engine yeah, maybe, a rocket. <laughs> so. I mean, maybe just check your release valves more often. <laughs> Something. Yeah, or spike yeah. it. Like, oh, shit, we're getting shelled at, and we might die. Like, maybe just like punch a hole in it real quick. Uh, Something. I don't know. Release some of that pressure, but it didn't. Maybe that's explode. why they died. And that's, uh, nope. that's where we're at. <laughs> maybe. On the 15th, Johnny, it is reported that the U.S. Uh, the U.S. blockade is doing uh, extremely well. Uh, we are increasing our number oh, of uh, captured pirate vessels. Uh, the spring so far has been very, very successful in the amount of blockade runners that we have caught and, uh, and, and taken care of, good. including a blockade runner way out in California where the J.M. Champagne is going to be what? seized with 20 secessionists on board and six Dalkerin guns, which are 11-inch navy slash sheath guns. They're very big cannons. Uh, and we got six of them along with 20 uh, dirty traders. So they should be hung uh yeah. like they should like i mean they're traitors you hang traitors that's what we do with traitors yeah. hang. Uh, and save some food yeah. for the hang good on. guys you know why bother and it's lincoln so we don't even have to worry about our trial he didn't give resources. a he even a trial to those indians that uh, we just hung in mass we should hang no. these he just says 20 dirty yeah. rebels in mass he says i don't care about people so who don't love me so so we should die. we should do we should do just that and which is reasonable here. Yeah, reasonable. I, I yeah, agree with yeah, you. reasonable. Uh, the uh, wholeheartedly. <laughs> the sad news here, though, is with all the success that we've had on the blockade, there is a ship that gets through the blockade. It is the uh, the Britannia, which this is not the first time we've had a deal with the Britannia. This is a British vessel that has now snuck through the blockade again How, so in North Carolina. Listen, fool me once. But this is like, it's happened before. The Britannia's name is not the first time we've heard of the Britannia. Shame on you. I've talked about it before. So uh, maybe maybe yeah. capture this boat and sink it. Teach those dirty Brits a, a How lesson. is it? Why Why is it so sneaky? Why is it? Does it have some? Is it? Well, yeah, it is a British vessel, so it's like you can't. I mean, you, there's that. There's Do that, they paint it there's blue? That, there's that. Well, you know, it's, it's, it, you, it's a British vessel. So you can't just go around sinking British vessels. <laughs> Uh, although they did run the blockade, so I mean, I think, if they're, I think if they're approaching the United States and it's not towards a U.S. port, we should probably be able to sink it. I'm pretty sure Britain, for the past several has hundred done that. years, has been going around Sing just boats, sinking yeah. whatever the hell they want. So they, it's a little bit of a comeuppance here. Yeah. So no, you want to sail your boat around here, it might get sunk or it might get boarded and we might take all the supplies and then sink it. Because uh, that would be the better way to do it, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. So Grant is uh, once again on the 16th, taking a new idea, throwing it at the wall, seeing if this one sticks. Uh, th- What's this, stuck time, this time, he is going to go through the bayous uh, of the Razoo River, like like we did. But in, instead of going towards Fort Pemberton, yeah, he's going to go out towards Steele's Bayou, uh-huh. which is behind Fort Pemberton. Uh-huh. Problem is, it's 200 uh-huh. miles of marching through oh, the bayous. What? And the Confederates Yikes. have... What? Just in those trails, in the very hard paths to get through these bayous, they've already like littered it with trees yes. and cotton bales and everything else that they can think of to just like litter the area to make it harder it, to move an army through. It's essentially tearing, they're tearing up the railroad yeah, but tracks basically, but they're cutting down trees across the paths. Yeah. And they're putting, yeah. You yeah, know, doing the thing. Which cotton bale? They're thorny, right? Is yeah, that I know. True? They're cotton bales. It's all just cotton. It's just or big. It's just big. Think, think of the uh, think of the big hay bales that you got. Just oh, it's the that. actual the big cotton. Ground. It's not... Yeah, it's cotton. No, it's cotton. It's cotton. Ba- it's like a bale tum- of cotton. Okay. No, it's not like the plants. I was thinking like tumbleweed co- style cotton plants. No, 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 no. This is this is this is this is a no. ba- this is this is this is cotton. So this that has is been their picked. their primary. This is their currency export. Yeah. They are now using yucking to, to make forts. Makeshift forts or blockades. 
Yes. Instead of money to buy food. And <laughs> well, because they can't, they can't get it out. Cause we got the blockade that's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> what chef's kiss there. Forsaking <laughs> group of people. Good word. Okay. On the uh, 17th, Johnny, we actually have a battle to report. This is like the first battle that we've had in a minute. Uh, and I and I use that term very very loosely because it just it just crests Ugh. that hundred uh, casualty number. Uh well, thank goodness. So how how many how many people did we get rid of? Uh, not that many. So we got the Battle of Kelly's oh, Ford. Shoot. So Federal Cavalry underneath uh, William. Averill, they're going to cross the Rappahannock at Kelly's Ford, and their goal here is to harass the Confederate troops that are operating near Culpeper. Uh, it's, it's scouting. I mean, you use the ponies to scout and look. You, it's not like the ponies are going to win a battle yep. or win a war. They're just they're poking around. Seeing what's good. These are our Union Raiders. These are Union Raiders. Uh, they are going to find the entirety of the Confederates operating near Culpeper. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mission accomplished. And after a heavy day of fighting, uh, Avril goes, I don't have the men for this. Time to cross the river again and just say to hell yeah. with it. So it's a Confederate victory. Feels like he should have come to that conclusion. Right that. Uh, Confederate victory, uh, sort of. Uh, and I say that term sort of because, um, Johnny, the Union's going to lose 78 total between killed, captured, wounded, missing, all the fun stuff. 78 total. Because they brought probably. 90. Uh, the Confederates are going to lose 133. <laughs> so this is an odd battle, Johnny. We killed more than they did. It's odd. It doesn't happen very... No, it doesn't oh, happen do? very often, Johnny. Uh, Taking them out. I can't. I One know, at a time. Like, also, we, we, also, we lost the battle. Like, all, it, yeah, if, if your goal is just to kill as many men as possible, which... Might be. Uh, might be. I think the war the is going to be won by getting rid of uh, Given the way some of these generals are... Uh, that's how they're generaling, generaling. yeah. Uh, that seems to be that's... what they want to do, is maximize casualties. So, in that case, I think they could have well, killed more they, people. They could have, but... I think they failed Johnny, we won because regard. we lost less than they did. So, victory for us. That's how I'm going to okay. spin it. But when the rebels lose less than we do, it's still a victory for us if we win that battle. Sure, sure sounds like you are uh, following all of Lincoln's orders on free sure speech uh, restrictions that he has put sure forth. Sure am, Johnny. Sure am. Well done there. On the 18th, <laughs> uh, on the 18th, Johnny, Lincoln is going to write Congressman Henry Winter Davis in regards to the House of Representatives, civilian friends wanting favors from the government. Apparently, this has become the, the House of Representatives is bitching to Lincoln saying, hey, uh, all the favors that that you know, all the money that we're getting paid uh, by private lobbyists, they're wanting they're wanting things yeah. in return. They want something from that. So can we should probably do something and give them something in return. Lincoln writes them and says, and I quote here, uh -huh. let the friends of the government first save the government and then administer it to their own liking. So that's a quote oh. from Lincoln in the letter, and it's funny. Uh, because I can't imagine that uh, at having one at one effect. point, Lincoln's like, save the government. It's every duty for the civilian to save the government. Which, yeah, sure, great. Okay, I got you there. And then it's like, and then you sure. can do what you want okay. with us because you paid for us. So, but you can't, we can't do what you well, want I, if we don't exist. Surely, surely uh, a handful of lobbyists running the U.S. government uh, like a puppet is not something that is going to last past Lincoln's presidency. The next presidency will know to... Notice Shut it that down. and be like, oh, no, we have to put an end to this. Yeah. Uh, we can't have lobbyists basically running the entire yeah. country. I'm sure campaign uh, finance. And the Congress people only voting on the interests of those the lobbyists. Representatives, that yeah. would be nonsense. They were elected by the people for the people. Yeah. Like Campaign finance is, reform. It's, it's, a, it's around the corner. He's panicking because it's wartime. Yeah, it's That's wartime. It. It's wartime. He's panicking because it's wartime. It's around the corner. It's all going to be fixed. Uh, no worries. There's no way. Empty promises. There's no way in 106 years we're still going to be talking about campaign finance reform there's no way that that's still gonna be that's a thing that 160 years no from now uh, in 160 years no there's not a chance we will be in a democratic utopia sure uh johnny uh in paris uh we have some money news some more money news in paris the house of Erlanger, uh, they're going to loan the Confederate government three million pounds at seven percent interest, which even as high of interest as that is, Whew. that doesn't seem like a very 
sound investment because if the Confederates don't win, how are you going to get the money back? Well, they'll pay them in their Confederate bucks. What if they don't win? How are you going to get the money back? No, they, they still have them. Surely they'll be worth something, right? As a novelty. They just need like a hundred. Oh my god! The sad thing is, the Confederate <laughs> it's, uh, breaking the fourth wall. Confederate money is worth way more now than it ever was then. Well, no shit. Everything in the Civil War is worth way more now. <laughs> and than you know what's really irritating? If you get a if you get a gun that you can actually trace no, to the no. dirty, dirty rebels, it, like it skyrockets in value for whatever fucking yeah, stupid uh, ass reason. Course. Same gun. Because of fucking stupid asses, Tommy. I can, Tommy, that's I, I, why. I, I, who think that they're they Spencer they're Rifle, Johnny. Spencer Rifle tracked to the Wilders Brigade Tommy, in possession, true. and it's and it's worth a tenth of what a dirty, that, uh, a dirty fucking re, flintlock that, musket is from the Confederates. Repair the fourth wall. Put the fourth wall. Back fourth up. wall back up. Fourth wall back up. We're, we're, all right. Back up. We're going to end the we, week, we Johnny. Johnny, week's over. We week's enough. over anyways. We're ending the week, Johnny. Uh, fourth wall back up. Ending the week on the 19th. Uh, Farragut gets his two remaining ships past the uh, batteries there at Vicksburg. So once again, we have Union gunboats within uh, okay. within range of Vicksburg. And then? Nothing. And then? I, I don't, it's the end of the week, Johnny. We'll have to wait till next uh, week to see what happens. I don't know. Nothing. I can't tell the future. All right. Well. So we'll uh, stick, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Bet.